In this training video, I'm going to take you through the three stages that I use for close control when playing Sabutio. In stage one, you'll require no defenders. In stage two, you'll need two defenders. And in stage three, you'll need three attackers and two defenders. First scenario is obviously with no defenders, makes it very easy for you to just practice trying to hit the ball and having as light of a touch to the ball as possible. It's up to you what your limit is when doing this. You can have it as a really small amount of distance between the ball and the player, or you can allow a little bit of a gap. Once introducing some defenders, it just brings in a bit of a realistic game mix to the, to the action. Again, you can decide whether you want the ball to go slightly further and if you're okay with that, or if you want it to be quite close and controlled, like this last one. Once you've done those two and you feel a bit more confident and you want to sort of up the levels, what I end up doing is adding three attackers to the mix. Uh, the aim is to use the first attacker to hit the ball and then a second touch to bring the next attacker into play and so forth. The aim is to get all three attackers into the game. Uh, if you only can only get two, then that's fine, or you're struggling to get the third, that's fine. It's just a bit of practice, it's just about getting attack momentum uh, which you can then replicate in a game um, if you so wish. So yeah these are the three sort of stages I use for close control. Uh, I'll do another video on a sort of further distance and getting to the attacking line um, and yeah we'll, we'll sort of work through those. Um, hopefully you enjoy this, uh, it's kind of a series I'm going to start doing, um, just running through my different training techniques that I use at home uh, and then yeah, hopefully um, others will be able to share what they do um, and it will be a really sort of informative piece of content for them.